All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean old rubber bumper plates as well as restore some metal plates. So here you'll see these rubber bumper plates I found in a garage. Um, I'm gonna clean them with some Adams all-purpose cleaner that is made for automobile rubber components, plastic as well, but these bumper plates were in the garage since the late 1970s. They have all kinds of fallout and dirt and debris on them. So what I did was just essentially first rinse them off. Now I sprayed the Adams solution on, let it sit for a little bit. Take some time to be kind of gentle. Uh, if you have an antique item like this, uh, you don't want to wash the actual white paint off of the lettering. You can see here that the solution was soaked and kind of scrubbed off and uh, it looks 10 times better than it did before. Uh, obviously get both sides. Here's the other side, uh, kind of a lot better condition than the first side, but notice the cloth on the ground to uh, protect them. Here is a before and after, uh, an untouched plate that was just straight out of the garage and a cleaned plate that I uh, just completed. So here is Adam's VRT, which is a rubber moisturizer. Just put that on the plate, add some moisture back in the rubber. You don't want something this old to be brittle. Uh, it's gonna allow it to kind of have a little bit more pliability. Okay, on to the metal plates. Here are some rusty old metal plates. In this tub, we have white vinegar. Um, actually didn't mix any water at all. Just straight white distilled vinegar, two full gallons. Um, here is a soaked plate on the left and a old plate on the right. Just some more plates in the vinegar there. So just let that soak overnight. 24 hours is okay too, but um, here I have a plate that I actually did soak for 24 hours. And you can see with a steel wire brush, the paint just flakes right off because it's been softened so much with that straight vinegar. A uh, really good way to get the paint stripped off of your plate. And if you have a wire wheel and a drill, a lot easier. Uh, but here you'll see all of the metal plates that I actually had in that bin out to dry. Notice how they flash rusted, so that's okay. Um, before you paint them, just knock them down with some sandpaper or a sanding block. Get that surface rust off. They were bare metal once I scraped the paint off and the atmosphere just hit them and they rusted in a matter of like three seconds. So I did prime these first, but here you'll see that uh, I have some black engine enamel by Duplicolor. Really love this stuff, easy to handle. It's a semi-gloss black and goes well over primer and uh, very, very easy to handle. I'll include a link to that in the description, as well as the cleaning products I was using earlier. So here, you'll, you'll see me uh, here just applying several coats of Duplicolor. It goes on very evenly. Um, here, you're gonna see some Rust-Oleum forged hammered silver. Obviously here, just taking a arts and crafts door sponge brush and painting on the lighter's back. So just kind of gives it that brand new appearance, even though it's not a brand new plate. And um, by the time you're finished, you're gonna have an absolutely brand new looking plate that was actually taken back down to bare metal and fully restored. So very simple process. Uh, strip the paint, sand off any flash rust that occurs, prime it, paint it, and then fix the lettering back so you can actually have a brand new looking plate. So thanks for watching and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or even suggestions on how to do this an easier way.